peace be with you. Let us all be inspired by a Bible verse today and learn from its reflection. Please share to your friends and loved ones so that they will also get motivated by the Lord's teachings. Thank you and may God bless us all. John chapter 14 verse 1 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Now, let us ponder. In the last few moments, Jesus has indicated that one of the disciples is a deceiver. John chapter 13 verse 21 and predicted Peter will deny knowing him at all. John chapter 13 verse 38 and Luke chapter 22 verse 34. This comes in the context of frequent references to his impending death. John chapter 12 verse 7 and verse 23 to 24. This is why Jesus takes the time to reassure the disciples directly, telling them not to be troubled. This comes from the same Greek root word describing Jesus' spirit in verses like John chapter 11 verse 33 and John chapter 12 verse 27. Some scholars suggest a difference between being troubled in one spirit, as opposed to being troubled in the heart. That would suggest Jesus is not commanding anyone to be happy, but to be brave. Whether John intended that nuance or not, much of what Jesus is about to say involves enduring hardship without losing trust. In practice, at least, this is a call for courage more than an upbeat mood. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not my heart be troubled. Let not our hearts be troubled. These words from scripture have comforted multitudes of God's children down through the corridors of time. Neither the things of the world that blacken our life, nor the imaginations of the heart that cloud our mind, must shift our trust in this word of comfort that comes directly from God, the Father of all comforts. These words were spoken immediately after Peter discovered he was going to deny the Lord three times, even before the cock crowed in the morning twilight. They were uttered to the confused disciples as they approached their greatest time of trial and anxiety that was to shroud their lives for three days of deep dark agony of soul, as the one they loved and trusted was snatched from their sight and all hope of the coming kingdom Christ promised, evaporated like the mist of the morning. These words were spoken by the one who was facing the most acute trouble, for he was facing rejection, betrayal, false accusation, an unjust trial, and the weight of the sin of the world on his shoulders, for the cross lay before the Lord Jesus. He knew that in his own darkest hour, the very face of his beloved Father would be turned away, as he was made sin for us. The disciples were troubled because they did not understand why he would say such things. They had just heard that Jesus was to leave them and that prospect left them in deep distress. But the Lord Jesus spoke gracious words of comfort and encouragement to their troubled hearts. Caring words that have traveled down the corridors of time and been such a blessing to so many countless saints, let not your heart be troubled. The one they loved was to be brutally removed from them, amidst a battery of cruel treatment. Hopes were seemingly dashed to the ground and they knew not what to do, nor did they know to whom they should turn. But Jesus said to them as he says to us today, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself that where I am you may be also. John chapter 14 verse 1 to 3. Nevertheless, the disciples approached Calvary with confusion and in perplexed pain. They had to witness his unjust arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane. They had to observe his unlawful trial and cruel crucifixion. They had anticipated that Jesus was soon to set up his kingdom on earth. 
they expected to be given places of responsibility as his courtiers, but instead, they were catapulted headlong into the pivotal point in the history of the world, when the Son of God became the ransom price for the sin of the whole world. Little did they know that following that terrible night of sorrow and pain, they would experience astounding joy on that glorious resurrection morning. And there is joy unimaginable for all who believe in God and also trust in Christ Jesus our Lord, our Savior and our Kinsman Redeemer. Not only did Jesus instruct them, do not let your heart be troubled, but he gave them tools to keep them from worry and fear, and it all comes back to faith. Trust in God the Father and also trust in me. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Just as they had trusted in God they were now to trust in Jesus, the Word made flesh, who was in the beginning with God and through whom all things were made. He was not only the Messiah of Israel, the Son of the living God, but He was God the Son, the incarnate Word, in whom are the words of eternal life. We live in a world that is filled with stresses and strains, and although we are not able to prevent the pressures of life, we have an assurance from the Lord Jesus Christ himself that because he overcame the world, the flesh, and the devil, we too are overcomers in him. For this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith in Christ. We may be facing some of the darkest days of this world's history, but there will be joy for us as well, on that glorious day when Jesus comes in the clouds to take us to be with himself, so. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not my heart be troubled. Let not our hearts be troubled. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Please help spread the word of the Lord by sharing this video. Again, thank you and may God bless us all always.